Hello everybody! So today I'm going to do another tutorial on how I'm going to make this animation. And so this is part of episode 8 and I'm just going to give you guys a breakdown of how I make each part. Okay, so here we have um, some slides I've drawn. So these are just kind of like a breakdown of what's going on in this animation slide. So I did this by going to the wrench tool and going to canvas and going to animate assist. So that turns on that little timeline -y thing at the bottom. And so now that I've already got this like breakdown, I'm not going to animate it here. I'm actually going to animate this in Procreate Dream. So I'm going to turn off animate assist which is a really fun thing if you guys want to ever like sketch a moving animation and you're just trying to break down how the movement's going to go. So I'm going to turn it off and there's like 50 million rays. <laughs> so I'm going to turn them off until I get to my background. So this is kind of like my background that I need. And so I'm going to reference going to add so I'm gonna add okay, oh, go to canvas go to reference go to image go to import and I actually made a background already it's called Joe's place <laughs> this is Joe's place this is the way so she's climbing over this ledge here and She's going into this rundown store to try and get some supplies that she sees in the window. But Aiden is like very concerned, not quite sure if this is a good idea. So he's like, oh, be careful. She's like, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> Where he's really reckless. Okay, so for the glass, I might need to do my less stable brush because that's how I can get like arching little shapes. So I need to do some chickity jigs right there. Now we need our different reference of what the actual inside of the store looks like. We're gonna take this picture that I drew. Okay, so this is our draft layer. We don't need that anymore. This is our business front. So we're gonna clear again. We're gonna import that long picture we had there, Joe's place. So we're gonna get those colors. So there's this color. We need to duplicate this layer so we can get these colors in there. There's that color. This is cement color. Hmm, the sidewalk is very multicolored. There's that color basically. Um, then it's windowsill. That's a good color there. Okay, now the glass. this color and then it's just kind of translucentized. Um, let's duplicate it one more time. So we're gonna drag that one in. I need to turn this off so I can see. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. So that's one. Oh, one missed one. That looks really cool. All right, so now we just need to get some, get our paintbrush that looks like this lettering. So this is Pandino, Patino. Okay, so we're going to go here and we'll try to copy our lettering as best as we can. So sail, 
That looks good. Now we just have to rough it up. So I've been using my base color with oil brush. And we're gonna go above all of these. We're gonna make it look dirty. Then, now if you break it into pieces, this is what we got background. This is the inside of the store, the outside of the store, and the piece of glass that sits on top of right when she goes behind it. So realistically, that would be like way at the top. So, I'm also gonna have Aiden standing here in this corner to be looking in the store, making sure she's safe. I'm gonna turn down these so I can see through them clearly. So I need to size Aiden properly. This is just a rough, so it doesn't super matter. All right, so now it's time to draw. Let's draw Aiden first. So we'll turn down his reference just a smidge. And then we will go to the reference again, turn it on, we'll clear this one. We'll import from our favorites. We got Aiden. There's Aiden. And this is the first ever drawing I ever drew of Aiden. I probably need to draw another <laughs> to use as a reference, but this is the first one I ever did. And I'm still using it. It's crazy that this series, I've literally already almost got 10 episodes. So I'm, this is episode 8, then 9, and then 10. We're so close. I can't even believe it. Oh, that line art might be too big. Turn it down. Okay. Try cute little hairs. Alright, this is looking really good. So now we have Aiden. He's fully drawn there. So as you can see, I left so as you can see, I've left out his eyes and mouth because we have to draw those in separately. So let's just turn those off so we can see his face. And we're going to start drawing his eyes. We could turn that one back on so I can see his eyes. So we are going so I'm going to go to a separate layer and I'm going to grab my pen and we're going to draw his eyes. He looks concerned. And then he's going to blink. Turn that one down. And we're on another layer. He's going to blink. Remember to keep things consistent. So we gotta make sure we get the placement of that correctly. So if you want to see how something is moving, you can always go to this layer and go to the play thing and see if that looks natural. I guess I turn up the opacity. You can just flip in between to see if that looks like a natural blink. That looks good. And then we're gonna go to another layer and we're gonna make his mouth. So you always start with, with a natural so you always start out with a neutral smile or frown, and then you're gonna want to start with the, I always start with the oohs and the u's and the w's. So you go ooh, and then you go ah, it's like a wah. And then, whoops, let me put some more. On your layers and then if you get too many you can turn some down oh, oops okay start out with the first one where he's showing his teeth and then an actual all the way open That whole tongue. So 
Let's get another tooth in there. Ooh, carve the pig. Cool. All right, and then we need a the. Oops, let's turn off some. So we need a the. So we go bigger, wider. So both teeth up. We got both teeth on the bottom. Then we got the tongue doing a curl. The. Usually it would be outside the mouth, but it doesn't interpret very well. <laughs> so then our last one we got, we got the clenched jaw. Well, actually there's one more. So clenched jaw, and then we got tiny clenched jaw. Maybe a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's go through them all. So we got tiny clenched jaw, we got bigger clenched jaw, we got tongue, there's an ah, there's a ooh. Look at those, those look good. Okay, time to color. So we got our little teeth. Oops, let's go to this. So these are my universal colors for teeth. I'm gonna just drag and drop those in. Usually you would duplicate, but sometimes when it's a really simplistic shape, you don't have to because it's just, it's just gonna feel So to be able to see them in the timeline, you have to turn on their their check marks. So smiley, do 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 do. Cool. All right, so we got all those. Now let's just color his eye. So I'm going to duplicate that one, and we're going to close this so I can get to the Aiden's palette. Get his outer eye color. Get his inner eye color. Go to the topper layer. Get this. And we still have the animate assist on, so it's kind of looking silly. Oop. So we're gonna merge down. So now we have a colored eye, and we got the blinky eye. Blink, 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 blink. Oh, that looks cool. So now we're going to color him. So we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna to go to his thing, we're gonna drag his face color in there, and fill in all those. Wow, it looks really good. So now we just gotta get on a new layer, we gotta select his darker colors, we gotta to go to oil paint brush, and we're gonna go, oh, that's too big. We gotta go tinier. So he has this facial darkening on the edge of his fur there and on his nose bridge. A little stronger. Okay, and then on the tippy tops of his ears, Ray has like her almost whole ear covered in this kind of marking. Then he's got like these bands on his arms. On his arm <laughs> and then on his hands he has these thicker coloring okay so now we're going to merge these down and there we go we've got Aiden completely made and so now he's got his mouth and his eyes so we're gonna take this and we're gonna select all his layers here. You just kind of drag to the side till they pop together. Oh, we don't need that. Okay, so we go to all. We're gonna go group. And so now this is just Aiden. Turn it on and off. We can get rid of his sketch. So 
Look at him, he could stand right here. That looks cool, that looks really good. Aiden, okay. So now we just need to do Ray, and she's gonna be moving, so we're gonna have to draw multiple of her, which is gonna be tricky. So we're gonna need to turn down this as opacity and just turn this one off. And let's keep Aiden in there for a minute. So we're going to turn this down so we can see behind it. And we're going to say goodbye to Aiden's reference and get Ray's reference. So let's grab her. This is also a really old artwork I drew of her, but still, <laughs> it's amazing. I've drawn, I've drawn Ray probably about like a hundred thousand times now, but I need to get some different reference art for her. So I actually have a picture that I drew of her back already, so I could just insert that and just do a little cheating so I can go faster. It's not quite cheating if you have drawn it. <laughs> So I'm just going to erase this part. Whoops. I need to go to a more stable brush. Okay, so I'm going to make three of these layers so that I can use this top one for the next drawing up and I can use this as my top layer and then this as my coloring layer. So I'm going to go to raise colors. Okay, look at that. That looks really good. So now we've got Ray's first picture and we've got Aiden. So we're going to merge these down and we're going to Delete this one. Wow, that looks really good. Just stepping in. So I might need to move her just a smidge more because that piece of glass is on her tail. Okay. That looks really good. So she seems like she's tilting a little bit more. So let's turn on animate assist. This helps. So we need to get our knee up here. Maybe not that as far as that, but <laughs> that looks good. Okay, now we'll go for the third movement. Can we delete this one? Let's take this one and it duplicate and move it up and turn this down again because this is more like the movement we're looking for so all we have to do is cut her leg off So, we can delete that one, and now she's just standing, so we're going to duplicate this one, and we're just going to, I think, even her out, maybe distort her just a little bit so she looks like she's standing up. Alright, so I actually decided I'm not going to have her turn and look at him, so we're just going to delete these frames, and we're just going to turn it on and see how it kind of looks. So we're going to go to Canvas, and we're going to turn on Animate Assist, so we're just going to like go through, 
That looks really good. Wow, I really like that. Woohoo! All right, so now we have our animation. We're ready to make it into Procreate Dream, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to let's grab Ray and let's put her in a group so we don't lose her. And let's turn off Animate Assist so we can see everything we've got. Looks pretty good. So let's turn on this background. And we're going to go into Share. And we're going to go to Procreate. And we're going to Save to Files. We're going to name this Going In Shop. I'm going to push save and then we're going to go out and we're going to go to procreate dream we're going to go to my projects and i already have a two by two inch thousand dpi file here and it's clean so we're going to go to this plus mark over here and we're going to go to files and we're going to go to that folder called this is what I've made my folder as Procreate Animations. And we're going to go to Going in Shop. And we're going to go Open. And as you can see, this is just a single thing. It doesn't have the layers. So while it's this shape, you might want to come and like just make it drag over the edge just a little bit in case there is a whiteness behind it. So. Let's go and convert this layers to tracks. And we're going to zoom down. We're going to make sure everything is the way we had it before. So this is our bottom layer. That's still how we want it. And this is still where we want it. And that top piece of glass is still right there. Looks good. Okay, so we've got Aiden here. And we're going to need to animate his mouth to the words he's going to be saying. So I'm going to, right now, cut down all my layers and get them in the layout that I like. So I go and click on this little action-y button. Click on the action button, you go to edit, you go to split. And then you hold this and you say delete content. Okay, so now you can see that his eyes are right there blinking like this and Sometimes I do this thing where I take the the selecty tool and we group these together And you can move them up one track and I turn off this group But you can still see it in here and so when he's like Trying to blink so I'm going to put this one and paste it down and we're gonna move it up. Whoops Got too many things selected. Okay, unselect. Move this to fill more frames. We're going to select the open eye. We're going to paste. So now he goes like this. Woo! And he opens his eyes. And then for a few seconds, he's got his eyes open. And then we're going to copy this and paste this in. So then his eyes go open and then they close for a second. And then they're going to open again. So there we have his eyes opening and closing. That looks really good. So one part we need to do next is um, we can do the same thing to the mouse, but let's close the group for right to the second. And we're going to drag it down to make a new, a new track. And then we're going to move it back up. So now we have this track line here. That's the easiest way I have found to get a new track. You can also do this, but sometimes it goes inside the group. So I've always just like tell you get that little dotted line. That's when it's going to add a track. So we're going to go to the, the very front and we're going to go to the plus sign. I'm going to go to files and I have my audio saved in my files, but you could probably save it as a video in your iPhoto too. 
So I'm going to go to select and we're going to open this audio for the episode. And we're going to have to scroll quite a bit because it's quite long. So we're going to have to go to, you click on the name of your thing. You're going to go to, go to priorities, go to duration, click on the minutes. And I'm just going to add five minutes because it's quite a long audio file and they won't want you scroll into the darkness past here. It doesn't really let you scroll. So you need to like open your file up to be bigger. <laughs> I think about here is where we're at. Oh, what? That's great! But be quick! Grab what you can! And get out of here! Something doesn't feel right. How's the here? Flush. Alright! Yeah, we need to get out of here! Something doesn't feel right. How's the here? And keep watch. So this is the line we're looking for. So we're gonna delete all that stuff in front. We're going to zoom way, way out and move it and try not to get those little dotted lines. So this is something the doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and watch. All right. Uh, uh. Okay. So we'll cut to there and we'll delete this for now because we won't be needing it in this scene. And so now this scene is too short, so let's do fill duration. And you're going to need to scroll down and get all these groups to fill. And you're going to have to do it on each layer. Probably should have done this first. Fill duration. So that makes it fill all the way. So we're going to zoom into our audio file here. And we're going to right. see where it ends. It kind of ends at 7 seconds, I believe. So we're going to zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Seven seconds would be the perfect time to set our duration of this animation. So we're going to go and take the five minutes away and we're going to type seven. Oop, zero, add out, seven seconds. And I have this frame rate set to 15 frames per second, which is a pretty good, pretty good frame rate. Okay, so now. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. There, we'll end right there. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. Something so doesn't we're going feel to right. need to stretch these out. So fill duration. He doesn't move, so we need to fill him in. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and watch. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with his eyes here. I'll stay here and watch. All right. His eyes look good. So we can actually delete this once we're done with that. And now we're going to do the same thing with the eyes that we are going to do with the mouse now. So we're going to chop all these, these mouse down. We can do this all at the same time. And I'm going to move these all up onto one layer. Okay, so now we've got all these mounts on the same layer. So we're going to take our Selecty Group tool. And we're going to select them all. And then we're going to hold on them and push Group. So now we have them as a group. And, they all, all, and they're all turned on at the moment. So you just uncheck this so you can't see them on your actual video. And we're going to scroll down to this empty track we have here. And we're going to do our best to put his voice right. to the mouse. I've used helpful charts in the past to look for the mouth to the syllables. And I just kind of learned how I do it now. So an S. So it could be a, a, a lower O mouth. Or it could be an S, so maybe tiny mouth. Whoops, I still have the selecty tool. Okay, so. Some. Some.
Tell us something. Tell us something. So, this is the... Something. Let's go to the mouth like this. Something doesn't. It's gonna do it. Uh, fill. Nothing doesn't fail. Rough doesn't fail. Right. Alright. Then he's gonna go to big mouth. Rough doesn't fail right. Rough fell right. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't right. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. That looks really good. So, so now it's like something doesn't feel right. So now we see how long that process is. To about here. It's all so like this, and then the, this is a good L and a th, so we'll go to all. Let's make this one bigger. See, here, he here. So another cool thing I've been learning is if you've got a really long syllable, you stay here. See how long that syllable is? Here. It's almost a whole second long. So we're gonna go to the action tool and we're gonna go to move. Move and scale. So now, here. as he as he has that syllable, we're going to move the mouth and make it crunch. Right here. So that makes it look like his mouth is actually like here. So I like that. That looks really good. But it only kind of right. works on long Stay syllable. here. Here and keep. And so now we want to move this a little closer to where we're going so we can keep using it as a reference. Keep right here. here. And, and so, and. Shall we watch? See, it's like a watch. See, it's like two syllables, so the little little mouth and then big mouth. Shall we watch? So at the end of his sentence, there we're gonna put the, the just neutral smile there. I guess a meh. And then we're gonna do feel duration because he's Gosh. done talking. All right. So now we we have just the back of Ray's head, so we don't really have to worry about making her mouth move. So let's zoom out and something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. So this is our starting clip. Okay. So we're gonna just do the same thing we did with the mouths. We're gonna cut these down. Kind of give them different durations. Something doesn't. 
Something doesn't... Something doesn't... Something doesn't... Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. Okay. Gotta make sure those are field duration. Field duration. Okay, let's play. All right. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. Something doesn't feel right. I'll st Maybe her tail could move a little bit slower. We'll go to move and we'll go to warp. Okay. See eight. <laughs> okay, let's see how that goes. Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. Something. Okay. So there we go. That is our animation. So we're going to go to part five. Click on that. And we're going to go to share. We're going to go to custom settings. We're going to go to rescale. Go to 180p. And we're going to go export. And we're going to click save video. All right. So we got that done. We finished that bit of the animation. So now we just got to slap it in to the actual so this is an iMovie and I've already added the first few clips of this episode that I've animated and we're going to click on this video I've recently added and I go to the plus mark I'm going to drop it in there and I always go to fade in between each slide of my animations so now let's just watch it from this bit what that's great but be quick grab what you can and let's get out of here Something doesn't feel right. I'll stay here and keep watch. All right. Okay, that's awesome. Well, thanks guys for watching today. I hope this was helpful. I'm really excited to get this new episode out. Episode 8 of Knights of the Burning Star. And it's going to be awesome. So keep watching and please subscribe because I'm trying to grow this little side channel. And if you're watching this on Pink Bunny Girl's channel, please come check out Rachel Animates. And thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.